This content is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install your PS4 packages on your jailbroken PS4. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so before we get started, I would like to mention real quick that this video is only for the steps to install packages on a already jailbroken PS4. Now, if you're interested on a setup guide for jailbreaking your PS4, I will have a link in the description to my video on, on how to set up a jailbreak on your PS4. That's on firmware version 9.00. So if you're interested in that, you can go ahead and check that out first. And then you can come back to this video to uh, see how to install these packages. But with that being said, let's go ahead and continue. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need is a USB drive. Now the PS4 games can take a whole lot of space. So it's really recommended to use a high capacity storage USB drive. Now talking about high capacity storage, I do believe you can use an external hard drive as well. But I believe you need to have the format in FAT32 or XFAT. I haven't tried it yet, but I know with the USB drives, they have to be in either XFAT or FAT32. Now talking about the formats, just want to let y'all know real quick that I am using a 32 gigabyte in this video. But like I said, you can use a higher capacity USB drive. But for this example, if you're using something that is 64 gigabytes and lower, you're going to have to format your USB drive to XFAT. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so in order to format your USB drive, you can use either Windows or any other software like Rufus. It's up to you, as long as you're able to format to XFAT. Now, just letting you know, those of you that have a USB drive already formatted in XFAT, then you don't have to follow these steps. But those of you that are using a um, 64 gigabyte USB drive and lower, you're most likely in FAT32, then you can follow these steps with me here. So on Windows, you can open up a file browser and you're going to want to locate your USB drive that you want to format. Make sure it's the right one because you don't want to format the wrong one. But with if you find the right one, you can right click on it and then you can go to format. And once this opens up, you can name it whatever you want. I had named it PS4. And you're going to want to look at file system, click on this, and then click on XFAT. Once you, uh, you click on XFAT, you can go ahead and click on start. And then when it says it's uh, going to erase all the data, just click OK. And then now we should have our um, USB drive now in XFAT format. So if I go to my drive, I can right click and click on properties. And now it's in XFAT. So those of you that have <laughs> a FAT32 system, now we should be on XFAT. And now what we can do is start downloading some PS4 packages and see if we can install them. So that's what I'm gonna do on my end and I'll get back to y'all once I'm done. And also, unfortunately, I cannot show you any of these websites on where to find any of these package files. So, you know, Google goes a long way. I hate to be one of those that says that, but unfortunately, that's all we can do here. Now, I think on my previous video, on my setup guide, I did have a link in the description to a website for like homebrew related apps that help you out with your jailbroken PS4. And I think I can leave a link in the description to that. So there you can find like standalone emulators and also RetroArch and other types of uh, homebrew applications that can help you with um, doing things on a jailbroken PS4. So with that, I'm going to start looking for my uh, packages and then I'll get back to you when I'm done. Okay, so I went ahead and found some files that I wanted to try on my PS4. Here I have RetroArch and then down here I have the Prince of Persia. Now, I wanted to explain to y'all that what a package file looks like. Most likely you're going to see files that have letters and numbers. And that's because instead of having the title name of your package, it's going to have the title ID. So it's really important to leave your files with the title ID. Do not rename your files or else it will not be read on your PS4. Another thing is that you want to make sure that they are uh, fake package files. There is a software out there. I can't remember it, but maybe I can do another video on this uh, later on if you're interested. But it will tell you which one is a fake 
package or not. But I believe that all the websites out there will most likely have fake package files for you. This is, I think, mainly if you try to do a physical dump of your files from your um, physical copy and you have to format them to a fake package file. So just let you know these things that you could run into that if you don't see it on your PS4, most likely you don't have the right format. But it's going to have the this title ID dot package. And then once you have that, you can highlight your files, and then move them to the USB. Now, um, just while we're waiting, I want to let you all know that here you're going to have file types that are zipped. Most likely they're going to be zipped. So in order to extract them, I highly recommend using 7-Zip. And because that uh, software is free, for one, and it also unzips a lot of file types. So you might see .7-Zip, you might see .rar, you might have uh, .z or .zip, and things like that. Um, in this case, I have a .rar file. And with 7-Zip, uh, I'll leave a download link in the description if you want to follow along with me with 7-Zip. But you're going to want to right-click on your um, zip file, and then you're going to use 7-Zip, and then open the archive. Once you open the archive, you're going to have your file name here. And then you can highlight the file, then extract it to your USB drive. But while we're waiting on that as well, I want to explain that when you download any type of file types, you want to make sure that they are the same version, also the same region. So for example, with my Prince of Persia, you will see of the letters and numbers like this, and you want to pay attention to here. And for me, it's the USA 36582. This is my base file. And then I have an update file that has the same version type. You want to make sure they're the same or else it's not going to work. That also includes your DLC, which I have that as well. But um, since it says the name, I don't know if I can show that yet. <laughs> but I'm going to add that to my USB drive and everything else. So I'll get back to you when this is done. Okay, so once you have all the files on your USB drive, we can now try them on our jailbroken PS4. But before I do that, I would like to re-say to y'all that if you have any type of files that have updates and DLC, you want to make sure that they are the same version and the same region. So for example, I have a version zero of my game. I have the update and they have the same title ID. So they belong to each other. This CUSA with this numbers. If you have any type of DLC, you want to make sure that it has the same title ID. So right here, I have the same title ID as my update and my base file. So they should all work together. Just wanted to re-say this because I, I know it can get confusing here and there. You find this place, this place has this file, this other place has that file, and you're trying to put things together and then you might have some issues. So just remember that you have to have everything matching um, in order for it to work properly. But once we have everything extracted to the USB drive, we can now try them on the PS4. So I'm going to eject out of this drive and I'm going to go uh, switch to the PS4 view. Okay, so here on the PS4, you want to make sure that your PS4 is already jailbroken in order to install any type of packages. You can check to see if you have it already um, jailbroken. If you're able to enter gold in from here and into the debug settings. If you can do this, then you are jailbroken. If you don't have this option here, then most likely you can go into settings and then you should have the gold hen option up here. So once you're in here, you can plug in your USB drive and then you can go into the debug settings. Here you're going to want to look for the package source, which is what we're using as the USB. You can also check these if you want to have the path shown or the subdirectories if you have anything separated in files. You have base file and then update and DLC in their separate folders. You can check this and have um, the package installer look for that. 
but since they're all on the root I don't need to check any of this and then we can just go ahead and click on package installer and if we have the right files we should be able to see all of our packages so here we do have everything and then after you have everything you can go ahead and install one by one but you can also install all if you like so that's what i'm going to do here if you want to be more careful or take your time with things because sometimes they are big files and they're going to take a while you can install one by one if you like you poke on it it'll start the installation or you can do the install all so i'm waiting for the the installation to start even if it looks frozen you can go ahead and just wait <laughs> let's see how it goes looks like the load bar is moving in my opinion i think it's safer to install one by one but i think it, it'll work by installing all of them at once but i prefer to install one by one um just to be on the safe side let's say for like the switch you have to do one by one other things too that are necessary so uh, for me, I would recommend doing one by one. So right now I'm doing the version zero of my game, and then I'm going to next do the update, and then I'll do the DLC. Okay, so once the install is complete, it says ready to use on top. So I'm going to try and push the home button, the PS button, to see if we have it installed. And there it is. Okay, so we need to do the update or you want to play the base zero or if there's only one should be fine. But I'm going to just go ahead and install the rest of this thing, these things. Okay, I just finished the update and I guess the option to install all is better because now I got to do these one by one. So it's up to you. I think install all works for everything and we'll install it properly. But however you want to do it, it's up to you. <laughs> just wanted to say that real quick. Okay, so I added all the files that I wanted to add on this video and for my game. So I should have the base, the update, and the DLC. All we need to do next is just try it out. So I'm going to push home, the PS button, and we should have it. I will most likely not have any audio just in case, but let's see if it works. So if it didn't work, it would say you don't own this. I think that's what it would say, but I haven't had any issues with any type of files I tried to install. It looks like it's about to run. Okay, there we go. Press anybody to any button to start, and it looks like it's going to run for me. Connect to play. Uh, I'm going to just choose maybe later because we cannot connect to anything. So there we go. Looks like I'm able to start a game. And it seems like everything uh, should be working for me. I don't know how much I can get into, but if you're interested in some type of gameplay, I do have a second channel that I'll have a link in the description. And there you can see um, how this is running on my PS4. But I don't know what I can show and what I cannot show. So just to keep on the safe side, I'm going to have things separated. So everything is working for me. I hope everything is working for you. Of course, if it doesn't, you can let me know in the comments and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. I'm still learning as I go with the PS4 jailbreak and things like that. So bear with me. I'll try to help you out as fast as I can. But if not, most likely I'll leave a, a simple comment that I'll try and get back to you. So package file is working for me. That's all you have to do to install things on your ps4 sometimes it won't be so easy sometimes games will not work i think there might be a uh, compatibility list i'm not sure but if there is i'll leave a link in the description to that as well but other than that everything is working fine for me and let me know if it works fine for you as well uh thank you for watching and as always i love you and i'll see you on the next one